What? So guys, I went from this to this. Yeah. Same dress. Same dress. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing an alteration on this dress. Yes, it belongs to my mom and she's had this for roughly 22 to 25 years. Mm. Yes, it's that old. And I haven't seen her wear this clothes physically and it doesn't fit her anymore, but I do have a picture of it. Yep, that's my mom. So now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking measurements just so we could, you know, alter the dress perfectly. The dress didn't have a zipper when I found it. Yeah, I did find it. <laughs> Somewhere hidden inside her box. take our shoulder measurements and this is because the coat's shoulder <laughs> the shoulder line of the actual coat is that like too much and you take your bust measurement the waist your hip basically there are more measurements to take which are listed here Now what we're going to be doing is we're laying our clothes down and we're going to be marking each of these measurements with a chalk. So I mark my hip measure hip line, sorry, hip line, the bust line. On the bus line, so I wasn't so sure you guys could see it. I went in to like zoom because the chalk mark is not that clear. I hope you guys can see because from afar, I feel the chalk lines are not clear, but. I could actually see it like closely. So once I've gotten all my lines, my boss line, etc, I just start to like measure my the circumference of each of these lines so I know how much I'm taking out and how much I'm holding the dress and I'm just blending that to get a nice curl so guys that's how much I'm going to hold this dress So guys, on the bottom hemline, although my camera couldn't picture that part because of the setup, but I also took out some few inches on the bottom hemline and I also just basically blend that, blend that to the hip line. So 
so now we're taking this over to the sewing machine to stitch that so basically we're stitching on our new measurement line that's following the chalk the chalk mark So once that's done, I also did the same for the other side. Now we're moving over to the zip and I'm basically just fixing my zip how I regularly fix it. this channel together moving forward I'm just measuring out my shoulder so I had three inches I added half of an inch that's to give me three and a half plus nine sewing allowance which is half inch Cut our flowers. The length of our flowers is 16 inches, which I later altered because I didn't like how long it was when I tried it on. So, if you don't know how to cut a flounce or a full circle, I do have about three to two videos. I think I have posted before now, which shows how to cut this flowers of full circle so do check that out the link is going to be in the description box below now we're just measuring out so we could cut out the circumference of our ham hole ham hole yeah i did the same for the other one so i went over to my machine just before i started sewing i made sure i pin that down pinning the sleeve to the body of the dress so when I'm sewing, I don't have anything moving about. It just stays in place. Now we're just going to sew and sew and sew that down. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and it shows you can create any masterpiece or any design from 
any clothes and we've come to the end of this video thank you guys for watching and no more saying goodbyes because i will see you in my next tutorial